Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to change your Minecraft server's icon as well as the MOTD. So whenever you purchase a server, by default you'll have the hosted by Pebblehost server icon. The MOTD, or message of the day, is what we have right here. By default, it's set to a Minecraft server. So we've gone ahead and jumped into the server panel, and the first thing we're going to do is go to FTP file access to gather FTP details and then input them into an FTP client such as FileZilla or WinSCP. So I've gone ahead and connected to the server via an FTP client, I'm using FileZilla, and the first thing you'll notice is that there's already a server icon in the server. So this is the default server icon I was telling you about before, and what we can do is go ahead and just press delete on this and delete that from our server as we're going to want to upload our own. The server icon actually has a few requirements you'll need to meet in order for it to work on your server. So this image right here is actually not a 64 by 64. As you can see, if we hover over it, while it is a PNG and that is the correct image format, it's a 256 by 256. A very simple way to go about resizing the image is go to resizeimage.net and we can go ahead and upload the image we want to resize. So in this case, this is just the server icon. And at the bottom here, there's a option for resizing. So if we edit out the current dimensions, uh, which is 256, we'll go ahead and put 64 and this will change the other one to 64 by 64. As you can see, the image is now 64 by 64 pixels. So once this is completed, we can go down to the bottom where it says resize image. This will then give you a download option and we can download this image and it will uh, go ahead and automatically download that. So let's go ahead and drag this back to our desktop and go back to the desktop where we can delete the previous server icon as we no longer need that. And then we're going to go ahead and click rename and name this server dash icon. Now you will need to have this exactly as shown. So it needs to be server dash icon uh, or else it will not work. Once this is completed, we can once again hover over the image to see that it is a PNG image and the dimensions are 64 by 64. Once we're sure of this, we can go ahead and upload this to our server. Now that we've uploaded the server icon, we can go ahead and edit the server's MOTD. Now, if you're not using Bungie Cord, it's just located in the servers.properties file and we can go ahead and click view and edit and we'll click OK and this will pull it up into your default text editor. So at the bottom, as you can see, MOTD equals a Minecraft server. Now we can go ahead and edit this to essentially whatever we want. However, in the panel, there's a built-in MOTD editor. So if we go to the tools tab, we can go ahead and click MOTD editor. So this will pull up a editor to where you can change colors, change bold, give it italics. Uh, you can do pretty much whatever you want in here. So if we go ahead and change this to um, let's go ahead and change this to blue and we'll say tutorials server. As you can see in the preview tab, it will show us what this looks like on the multiplayer Minecraft tab. If we want to maybe bold this or something, we could go ahead and highlight it and click bold and it will add the bold value to it. Once we're happy with the changes here, we can go ahead and click copy for the just default servers.property file. We can minimize this erase what is currently in the MOTD and paste in what we just created. So uh, we have the values here and then we have the tutorial server. Let's go ahead and save this and X out and we'll go ahead and click yes, we do want to upload the changes. And once we are happy with those changes and the server icon, we can go ahead and go back to the server panel and go ahead and click restart to apply those changes. Okay, so the server is now started, and if we go to the multiplayer tab, as you can see, not only the server icon's been changed, but also the MOTD, or the message of the day, has been changed. That's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Pebbleos Discord, and we'd be more than happy to help you there.